The annual value was around 68 billion euros, and um, supplier quality is the second one, which um, ensures that we are getting on time um, the components for our vehicles, obviously, of the uh, required quality, and they are practically ensuring the continuity of our production. Um, purchasing part is divided into direct and indirect materials. Direct materials um, is buying all the components which are assembled directly on the vehicle and on engines, and um, direct materials are divided into five units, about which I will talk uh, more later on. And uh, the second part is indirect materials, so practically everything else which is not assembled on the vehicle, which means all the equipment, um, consumption material for production, services, etc. So as, uh, as shown, they are divided into capex and services. Um, here you can see um, our purchase, annual purchase value divided by the regions. Uh, so 23% in EMEA, 5 in APA, APAC, uh, 63 in NAFTA, and 9 in um, LATAM. And um, this is the headcount of uh, FCA group purchasing by the region. So in total, we are uh, a little bit less than 2,000 uh, 2, people in um, countries as, as shown here. So in EMEA, maybe I can mention, FCA group purchasing is existing in Italy, uh, France, Poland, and Serbia. Um, the, the roles of the, of the FCA group purchasing are divided into global and uh, regional. So global, as, uh, as uh, shown, are the, the main one, our definition of global strat uh, strategies, achieving the global budgets, global negotiations. Regional, uh, obviously, is focused on the region, so local strategies, uh, achieving the regional cost targets and um, managing regional negotiations. And joint uh, roles would be uh, sourcing decision, definition of commodity strategies, etc.